I've been away for seven months. Now they're filming the Book of Boba. Ooh, fight scenes, makeup. The one thing I've really missed is this hidden gem. Here in my hometown, Rotorua. Ah, the Polynesian Spa. Come on, New Zealand, try something new. Ah, there are no words. What is going on, Bombad fam? We are back on the original channel. How exciting is this? Okay, super stoked to be here. I'm actually nervous, and I never get nervous before a live stream. With that being said, thank you for coming here. And a quick shout out to Around the Galaxy, Pete Fletzer. He made this beautiful banner. Let's take a second and admire all this. Wow. It's beautiful. With that being said, welcome to the Bombad Cast. We've got a bunch of new and amazing things for y'all. Love seeing Pete there. Uh, this is going to be such an exciting endeavor. Oh, man. Okay, so Monday night, we have a new show. Wednesday night, we have a new show. And Bombad Cast, of course, every Thursday night. We will plug and talk about those shows much later. But before I do that, before anything gets too crazy... I've got to bring in my wonderful, wonderful co-host and creator. And real quick, I need to mention this before we, at the very top of the show, it'll be two years next. I think it's two years today, Bomb Adcast started, but we'll be celebrating that next Thursday. With that being said, let's bring in my wonderful, beautiful co-host, the one and only Jerry the Cannon Junkie. Jerry, what's going on, brother? Hey, what's up, oh, buddy? What's up? What is this? Guys? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! My neighbors are hating me right now. I don't care. I don't care. We're back. So awesome. We're back, baby. We're back. We're back, dude. And you know what? You know what? I did not know you mentioned that I was your creator, and I'm glad you finally let that out. I'm glad you finally admitted. Um, yes, I am Scotty's donor, <laughs> as Bo Katan would say. Not not that yes. way. Not that way. Not that oh, way. Guys. Not that way. We're on our oh. own channel. We're Again. on our own channel. Live. How Scotty has a video of with 4 million views where he's crying on here. Go watch it. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do have that. It's oh, fantastic. Look at the people in the chat. Let me get these pulled up. We got oh, my goodness. Walk, AE, Lauren Romo. Look at this. Lauren. Soup. Boopenheim. Uh, we got, Look we at got this chat, man. We've got John Pete. Shaw. This is John. so brilliant. Michael oh ARS God. podcast of the wills. Who's this? We've got Bill She. We've got Bill Sheehy. Who is that Bill She? No, I know She. Oh. I just don't know who podcast of the wills is. We've um, got we've got oh man, human tornado. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is, I, I saw Cam. Cam Ray is yeah, here. Cam, oh Cam my Ray's goodness. lost Bub. I don't know what happened to Bub. I, I pray for Bub. We pour one out for him. Bub. There you go. Pour Product placement, Bub. but not really. You know, oh, Radio Rebellion, Star Wars Podcast. This is great. Look, I what's say, up, guys? I want to say one thing right now, Jerry. It's glad to be Let's back. Um, being back on this old channel, it's I had to blow the to dust back. off a couple of things in this uh, channel, which we did. A, a lot of things. And, uh, like, hey, all this. real quick, I got to give a shout out. Eric Cotterman helped me edit that new intro together. We're not going to watch the full thing, but let's talk about that first little segment. Hold on. Let's talk about this. Let me pull well, and get ready. Here. Get ready. How because... beautiful is this?
There, there's so many Easter eggs in that. I cannot wait for yeah. y'all to kind of go yeah. back and look. dissect it. Oh, oh they'll, they'll have the chance, won't they, Scotty? Oh, they'll have the chance tomorrow. So tomorrow, I will be posting the highest resolution version of that intro uh, on our YouTube page. You can scrub through as it. a separate video, baby. As a separate video, it's in fantastic. case you want to listen to our random theme song with yes. all that stuff and all the seriously Scotty and Eric put in a ton of work into redoing and all of that. So the work we did kind of led to what we're talking about today, but you know what, before we even get to our main topic, this episode is one part um, you could say a celebration of sorts, but another part uh, kind of a fun thing we found. We need to celebrate what kind of made us do this live format, what kind of changed our perspective on creating content. And that is the BTBD right. network community that we, we we just left from. And I want to say one thing at the very top. A lot of you were here too. Yes. We did Thank not you. leave because there was any conflict, right? We mm -hmm. left primarily because we wanted to expand and do our own thing back on the channel that we honestly had a very successful video on and that I don't think anyone could knock us for that. And I'm, I'm happy to say that this departure was completely fine with everyone involved. We even have Pete in here, Hala Chronicles also um, a, a good group uh, postcards from galaxy's edge. Uh, David be uh, beyond the blast was live. We got Jackson and Raven force connect. I mean, hey, man, a lot of all shows people still making great content. Oh people yeah. In a lot of shows. To make great content. Totally. And, and, and a lot of these shows wouldn't have happened if we wouldn't have gotten together as a collective group. And I want to say absolutely. it was an absolute experiment at the time. So glad it happened. Um, I could talk about each one of those podcasts for hours, and I'm very, very thankful for the fact that we got to you know contribute to that collective. And you know, I, I, I could talk about it forever, but Jerry, you have any final words about the network and things that we loved and didn't about the network? Nah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, like <laughs> it seriously was one of the things that helped me. And I, I'll, ju I'll just speaking for me, it helped me make it through the pandemic time who like all that kind of stuff. And like you said, Scotty, we learned a lot from each other. We gained a lot of really good friends from that. Not that we weren't friends yeah. before, but we became better friends through it and are still friends. Um, and it, it, it's something that you, I mean, to, get all sentimental about it it's it, there's i i would do it again um if i had the chance to do it again but also i'm excited for the future that all all the shows have now of like we are all heading towards just bright futures yeah uh, on our channels definitely. and that's and like, amazing proofs in the pudding too like literally i'm not joking when i say this, i'm gonna be on arzu show tomorrow and arzu did btbd live for like six go months. check so out like, that go like, check like, out the geeky waffle series the, the creative collective that we kind of established for a while we'll still be tight and we're gonna have fun still making content together um I, I, with all that being said i am oh steve, steve there's not that's that's not the only thing that followed us from vtbd you look at this look. <laughs> steve. Oh, man, that's incredible um so yeah i'm uh i'm really really thankful for the past the network allowed us to grow as a creative group and it really introduced us to this live format that honestly changed everything for us we love the live format now kind i don't think i could ever better. go back i was talking to eric about this on the phone today i was like eric i don't know if i could ever ever go back to doing pre-recorded stuff now it's just this is so much more fun to me i, I get it's a little bit more fulfilling to see all of you hanging out right here to bomb is human to bomb that is divine <laughs> that's beautiful oh looter mites got a super chat what didn't see this on the network thank you Hey, yo. Thank you. Wonderful. Oh, super Thank sticker. You. Oh, super sticker. Kindness. I don't know what that means. Kindness. Oh, that's what Kindness and peace. I don't know what that means, but it's it's yours. <laughs> well, they can have it. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked. Jerry, Jerry, yeah. I know we talked about the network a little bit, um, but, you know, let's talk about some new things. And I've heard <sighs> you got a show. Can I show yeah. a, can I show a little, uh, little like promo shot for the show go, you got? go for it go for it Why all not? right this is jerry's new show by the way shout out to kevin justice he shot this he did a green yes. screen Thank uh, you, kevin. photo shoot and this is literally i'm not joking when i say this number we took over 500 photos that evening and we've got a lot of stuff in the works in terms of these photos for 
designs and having fun with it. But Jerry, Jerry, let's talk about your new show. Jerry, what is your new show called? Well, my new show is called Hyperfocus, as you can see there. And there's uh, there's me cosplaying as a bloated corpse. Uh, actually, um, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, that there's me looking looking over uh, probably one of the most uh, educational books I own. Yes. Um, no, guys. So Hyperfocus is if you've watched our our uh, channel like trailer or whatever that we've done, we've we've done a, a trailer that we'll have for our our channel up there all the time. Um, yes. Me and Scotty are going to be doing shows. My show is essentially. It, it, it's, it follows my ADHD. Whatever I'm hyper-focused on, whatever my guest wants to talk about, that's what we're going to talk about on Hyper-Focus. Hyper-Focus is like just basically a conversation show. Um, it is, it is, there it is. I love that logo. I love that logo. Great, it, great it, logo. It essentially, it, it's, it's, it's like, I, I explained to Scotty, it's like uh, Joe Rogan without the enabling of, of uh, dicks. And so, um, <laughs> We're going to have a lot of really awesome people. Brian from Pink Milk is going to be one of our, my first guests. And we're going to be basically talking anything from Star Wars to like social issues to, and I, I think I said the, this is from our thing, you know, funnel cake or, you know, um, honestly, anything. We can talk about anything, Scott. See, the sky's and the you know, we'll, we'll make a lot of people mad, probably. So it's well, look, I, I'll say this too. I'm I'm his third guest for the show, and he um, is. we got a good first lineup. We guys. got Seriously. we've got a discussion that's planned. It's going to be talking about uh, technology and the singularity Ooh, of it, which careful, is something I'm deeply fascinated careful. with. So I know I just wanted to let y'all know. Little, I mean, it's not Star sizzle. Wars. It could be Star Wars, but it won't be Star Wars. So that's the it fun could thing be about anything. It yeah, could be anything. I, that's that's what I'm looking forward to is. We've got a little bit more freedom here on our channel now to allow us to talk about whatever we want and pretty much do whatever we want. And yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's okay, Steve. It's <laughs> Forever okay. one time. That's pretty amazing. Oh, that's brilliant. But yeah, Jerry, I'm looking forward to the show in general. Let's look at that logo one more time, man. I, I love it. Let's this. look at it. Let's look at it. But then Gorgeous. I want to hear, look at that. I want to hear about your show, Scotty. My show? Do you really? There is a, yes, I do. Oh my do goodness. You really? I do. Look, yes, I'll tell you about my show. Give me a second. My show is going to be a video game streaming show. Yes. Something I've been wanting to do for about six months now, and I'm very, very eager to do it. Um, I will actually give you a hint. No, hold on. Let's look at this. Let's look at this real quick. So on Bomb Bad Gaming, we will be hanging out every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, playing anything from new uh, retro to new games, modern day gaming. So I've got a couple of things already lined up. I'll be talking about gameplay. I'll be talking about mechanics, graphics, music, you name it. You love it. We'll talk about it. And it's also very interactive. So keep in mind, if you do end up coming and joining us, make sure you're in the chat, chatting up, hanging out with me. It's not a guest based thing. It'll be me and the video game. That's my guest. And I'm really, really excited to be doing this show in particular. Our very first game, Jerry doesn't even know this. Our very first game, I think Boopenheim might be the only person that I let know it on this. Ooh, I'm Our excited. very first game is totally on brand, and I'll show it to you right here. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is yeah, yeah. Super ah! Bombad Racing. Of course. I mean, I had to, right, Jerry? I had you, to. Yeah, it's so, by, by mandate of our new channel. <laughs> you literally had to. I mean, it, it just makes the most sense. So, look, I'll show you that wonderful little image I, I have rendered right oh, here. Oh, it is every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, Bombad Gaming. So you can do hashtag Bombad Gaming if you want to spread the word. Um, the logo took a, quite a lot of work to make. I didn't do it. And I don't know if you noticed this. I'm going to bring Jerry back on the screen. Jerry and I actually got our logos made by the same person. So, as you can see, this is Jerry's logo. You can see the font. Brand, and yeah. And branding brand. are very close to the same thing. So we will have oh, yeah. shirts with this stuff in the near future. But um, real quick, yeah. Jerry, tell the group and people what night years things are going to be on so they can catch Again, it. mine is yes, I know, because I, I probably didn't say it the first time. And, you know, you're used to it. So uh, Monday nights um, around 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, usually 8 p.m. No, let, we're going to lock it down. 8 p.m. Eastern. We are going to be talking about whatever my guest is hyper focused on. Join us. Love it. Scotty, what I about love you? It. You, wanna, you, you, my, already gave, you already gave yours, but go on. Yes. Go so every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, you will be a hundred percent watching me play some video games. And 
I'll give you a little bit of a hint right here too. If you really, really want to kind of help me with a couple of things, uh, all you got to do is DM me on Twitter. But I plan on doing a mock stream maybe Sunday to like work out some of the technical logistics because I haven't done one of these before. And uh, I will send you the unlisted YouTube link if you want to help maybe contribute and give me feedback on how things sound and how things look. So just reach out to me on Twitter, DM me here, private message me somewhere if you want to be involved with kind of like the first test run. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I got to say one thing too. I, I want everyone to know we didn't forget, by the way. One thing we didn't forget. So Never. I have been waiting. Look at this. Thank you, Hayden. Hayden, You're thank too you. too kind. This is, this is wonderful. So I love your Perry the Platypus, by the way. Let's just say that. D, you, thank you. So anyone that wants to help contribute to that, just reach out to me. We're doing the test run maybe Sunday or yes. Monday. Well, not Monday because it's a cherry show. Um, also, well, so, also, yeah, D, DM me if you want to be a guest on it because I am trying there to There we go. Up. I'm trying That's to fill up the true. rosters. Seriously, all you content creators. So, slide into those DMs. Yeah, slide. So I want everyone to know that I did not forget. We did a huge giveaway about two months ago on some trading cards. I have them all stored safely in my closet. But we had been They're waiting on <laughs> – There's, they are going to come to you. But they just <laughs> came in today. The reason why I've waited so long is because I ordered some custom things that will be coming in with your little uh, card package. I will show you Pete, Nick, and uh, – well, Pete, uh, Nick Milky, and Jerry had a sneak peek at this. They finally came in. I don't know if you could see it. But we got some custom bomb bad cast guitar oh, picks in. Oh snap! I know, I know Cam. I know Cam plays guitar. I'm pretty sure he plays ukulele. Definitely. Um, anyone else that is a musician, also reach out to me. DM me. I will send you a handful of these. We have 200 of them. Want okay. It. And if you want it, let me know. I want to send you a guitar pick. But if you want any sort of trading cards or anything from that that giveaway. You will be going home with a, one of these as well. And uh, I'll reach out to you privately. I have all those things written down. But uh, yeah, I'm super happy. And look, y'all, I wanted to tell you this. The clips are still here. I'm sure some people uh, are worried. The, that the clips, clips are here? Away. The clips are oh. here, right? Oh, thank you. Come on. I was and I was afraid that that the basically the premise of our entire show was gone. Completely. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much. Dave, take it away. Thank you, Mr. Filoni. Thank you, Mr. Filoni. This is that Ahsoka <laughs> theme is so good. Hey, have you seen Rick? Oh! There's the Rick Meister. <laughs> I'm sorry I put this up, but oh my gosh. Thank you, Jackson. Jackson! You were too kind, my man. What a Thank you, guys. Gesture. Oh look, you were you were going guys. to get those cards. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And uh, yeah, you didn't even. You just spent all the money. The ship. You gave us the shipping money, basically. Just yeah, so. pretty much. Now, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Jerry, did you know that Splash Mountain has a rap? Wait, what? Oh man! Mountain. Well, look. Uh, before That's, listen, we move the on, Bombad cast the the Bombad cast playlist grows daily. It does. It truly it really does. does. Um, we, and we might have to release an album. <laughs> no, we we definitely will. And and Let's I think it's important. Lawyers. We have to let our our you know because we do get ad revenue because we are monetized. But we have a we have a cigarette ad from the eighties that that needs to make sure they come and plug their their. their right. Yeah. We need we need to make sure that kids know they can smoke. Yeah. What oh. language is that at the end there? Oh, oh, mm. oops, oops. Um, whoops. Now, 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 that ad portrayed really beautiful people it smoking. Did. Yeah, smoking's cool. Those so. people now look like this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you all know. 
This is the content you come here for. And you know what? We have a doctor that has something he needs to prescribe to you as well. Anyways, my broskies, I gotta bounce. Bounce on your boy's dick. Hey, got him. <laughs> Maybe my new favorite clip of all time. We've got new clips. We've got old clips. we got we got the <laughs> clips, man. <laughs> oh, Daigle, what do you have to say Hate about that? Hate it! That's wildly inappropriate. <laughs> oh man oh it, it is true guys it is true we have we have mountains and mountains and mountains of clips not only the old clips we have new clips we do we do brand spanking new so jerry with all that being said should we uh should we just move on to our next thing? Because what we have next is what we've been hyping. Real, real up quick, Hayden, thank days. you again. Thank you again for the super. Thank chat, you, Hayden. Hayden. I appreciate that. That was a former student of mine, right there. Former student. He is now graduated. That's great. There you go. Head, so head. you don't have to butter us up anymore. You're good. No, nope, I don't. It, so we're good. We can we can move on. Um. So Jerry, move on to what? Well. While I was editing with Eric, we were up very late one night trying to get yeah. that bomb back cast intro and outro done. And we discovered something because we were wondering how much work has Tamora Morrison had. And, you know, we know his work in Star Wars. And he was even an Aquaman. So he's had some pretty awesome jobs, right? right? So I thought, let's go through his uh, Wikipedia, and not Wikipedia, his Wikipedia. And we're looking through it. Yeah. And we're looking at things. And the legit one. I came across something that was profound. And I'm not joking when I say this. It, I would almost say it may have changed my life upon Moana as well. Um, it is. It that's may, it. You found. You guessed it. We're watching Moana. Here we go. You're welcome. <laughs> we're gonna get. We're gonna get shot down by Disney instantly. I can't wait. Um. So, oh, I don't have the anime clip loaded up. But that's that's July third. We'll be we watching. We're talking that to our live. lawyers. We're talking to our lawyers. So, so real quick. Or I'm sitting here looking through Wikipedia and I and I see this entry. It says 2005. It, it only aired in New Zealand and there was only two episodes of this. And um, you know what? I will say we found a leaked version of this online and we are going to expose this to the world. I don't mm -hmm. think enough people know about this. Now, if, I will if anyone, hey, real quick, if anyone in the chat knows about this, you are a legend. I'll just say that. You've you are a legend. Us. You've yeah. Kept why us. have you not? Why have you kept this gold, this solid gold from the world? Why would this, you deprive us? This really is solid gold. It it's brilliant. And what I'm going to show to you is something by the name of the Tim Show. And I will explain one thing real quick. Um, I'm sorry. I, I real quick, Cam. You guys are crazy. Some of my favorites because of it. You make Carrot Top on meth seem like Judy Dench in Mid Slumber. <laughs> That is the best. That's one of the best descriptions we've ever had. Thank you, Cam. Go Thank on, you, Cam. my man. Go on. My so man. I was looking through this, um, this, this footage and I found that it was posted on a New Zealand website. So I will say the frame rate for some reason is very weird. It's not like a YouTube video where everything's kind of smooth. So we're going to watch this. Of course, we're going to commentate over it. That's what we're good yeah, at. That's and you best. guys... Get your zingers in there. Your zingers this, is just as good, if not better, than ours sometimes. This is like a um what was the show that Guy Fieri has? What's it called? Diners, drive-ins, and dives or something. Imagine that, but very low budget. And Star imagine Wars that. Yes, and imagine that with yeah, Timura Morrison. <laughs> it 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 feels like it feels like Taika Watiti wrote this. I've only watched yeah, it, the opening. I haven't seen any else. Uh, Scotty, have you watched the rest of it? I've watched, yeah, I've watched the first five minutes, and I kind of skimmed through it to make sure there's some stuff. Now, I will warn you, okay? Well, and Nick, I'm not going to bring him on screen. Nick is in the back of the house helping us do a couple of things here. But Nick was one of the few people that helped us get a copyright strike on our last channel. So there are some also, there's some Star Wars clips in here that I'm going to have to drag the bad boys down. because of you, Nick. Yeah, I have to drag the volume down almost instantly. So uh, I don't want to get taken down again because of our friend Nick over here. But uh, with that being Love said, you, that being said, let's check this out. Hold on. Let me share it on my screen. Let's I think everyone out. will be able to hear it. Bounce but, uh, on your boy's dick. Sorry. Here we go. I, Dr. Joe is my new hero, and I think that's wrong. So this is called The Tim Show. 
Everyone in the chat, make sure you let me know if you can hear it, and I will be turning the volume down in case a Star Wars clip shows up. This, mm -hmm. this is who are the guests, Scotty? Should we should we tell them or should nope. we just let it? Nope. And this okay. is the shot. This okay. okay, and I'm not kidding. Money this shot. What, this is what made us want to do this episode. Were the guests they have on this? It is absolutely insane. This is you guys are gonna is, you're you're gonna lose your mind. And you know insane. you know how I feel about one of these people, and I didn't know this existed. And you're gonna know why I chose to do this. Here we go. Here we go. Jerry's having fun on his phone. <laughs> Back on the Yo, old channel. Welcome to the Tim Show. I'm Tim Water Morrison. Now, each week I invite a couple of buddies over to have a bit of a corridor. We have a bit of a sing song, and I show them some of my postcards from Hollywood. Ooh, and they're looking pretty flash, too. I visit the Fano in New Zealand and around the globe, and I even score some A listers. Now, this week we've got a Tim Show special. Epis okay, like I said, the frame rate is a little weird. Just bear with us. Well, and real quick, I didn't understand he, half of the words this man used are so. exclusively New Zealand. Like they're exclusively Kiwi. Like this it's this is great. what I'm talking about. We have a little we have a little sing song, a little you know. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> just just wait. The way they translate to the Concords. The way they transition between this segment and the next segment is absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it. So the A-list guest, I'm not kidding when I heard this. I my hand shook and I FaceTimed Jerry. I was not expecting this. Here we go. Episode three, involvement of the Kiwis. I'm talking Star Wars. We find out how they make us clones. And I catch up with Rena Owen and talk to the producer, Rick McCullough, and talk to the big guy, George Lucas. So, lightsabers on. Oh. There's this three theme, of them. This theme is phenomenal. It's like it's like if the Monopoly game board, if you spilled Mountain Dew on your Monopoly game board, it would come to <laughs> It comes to life. Look at this. Tell me this is divers, dines, and da what the hell it's called? Drive-ins, diners, and dashes. I don't know. That's what it looks like. The Tim Show. Look, and he's even like, what's that noise? I hear music. I just don't notice that he even had the like 20th century fox. <laughs> <laughs> does anyone is recognize? That? Do you does anyone recognize if you can please in the chat? I know I know who it is. Jerry hasn't recognized who it is yet. He's not is that, he's wait, playing on his phone. Wait, Everyone, wait. please look, look and tell me who the hell this is playing the saxophone. I'm gonna click play again. Please in the chat. If you don't know yet, you'll know in a moment. Hey mate, who invited you here? Buskers belong up K Road. Doesn't Cliff Curtis live here? I. Oh, uh, hey. is that is that? Yeah, who are you? And who are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're Jay Lignaya, my good old buddy from the radio days. You may remember him from Water Rats, right? Street League. Okay, who is that? Water Rats. You may remember him from Water Rats. You know. What a rat! All right, all right. That famous is that? Listen, I don't know if I recognize him without his eye patch. Is that Captain Typho? It's Captain Typho. He's a he's a that Kiwi is too. Mother effing, because I knew there were a lot of Kiwis that worked on this film, like these films. Look at his beautiful hair and his saxophone skills, dude. And the fact that, that he's wearing a hoodie, like real big chill, I love it. And they're just I like they're it. like I love like Tim's like uh, he's got like a Mister Rogers thing going on too. Like <laughs> look at that, <laughs> Mr. Rogers. Well, let's keep it going. And and I love the way you know if Taika Waititi does show up, I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm just gonna say right now. Legal, of course, the Lion King more recently, Mufasa, and not to mention Captain Typho from our movie Star Wars. Service. Let's go inside there and have a bit of a catch up, buddy. Because that saxophone playing was killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Langaya. Man. How are you, sir? 
people don't know this, but you and I go way back to the radio days. And even before the radio days, we you said that. Actually started off together on that special performing arts training scheme that we were all on. I was trying to count uh, the number of years that I've known you, the unfortunate number of years that I've known you, and it's uh, about 21, you know, when you were a lot taller, a lot thinner, a lot, you know. Wait, 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 wait. So is he, listen, is he like his Andy Richter? <laughs> Just wait. It gets better. I can't There's believe this. No, no, it's like it's Andy Richter. I haven't seen this far, guys. <laughs> this, it, it keeps getting better. It's one of these things that you're watching. I'm like, how how haven't I figured this out? Right? Calm down, I, guys. I, don't fight. Don't fight. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know if Tim collects Star Wars, but if he might. I mean, the background alone is insane. He's got two you know, Imperial uh, guards and he's got a whole fleet of stormtroopers and a Jedi behind him. Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I will forever now here on out. <laughs> Steve, you have ruined me. I will forever refer to Darth Vader as Palpatine's Andy Richter. You Richter. <laughs> Curse you, Steve Palpatine. God. I love you. Incredible. Holy crap. But yes, Boopenheim, answer your question. It is from it's from 2005. And yes, Troy, it's it's from that same time period, 2005. It is right before yeah, uh, episode three dropped May of 2005. I remember because yes. I graduated high school because I'm old. Here we go. Let's do it. Old, That's right. Smooth skin. It's but, been uh, that long. Yeah, but time has been good to you almost. I wanted to mention, I'm very impressed with the decor here, the Star Wars uh, the Imperial decor. Trooper heads here. Yes, and look, part mm. of my deal with Star Wars was that George put in my contract that I was able to keep some of my clones. You know, i got to say that most people you know, just get gnomes, but you've got yourself full on. <laughs> I'm sorry. You didn't stop for me, did you? That is no, no, I, I, some, of, some of my clones. Some of my clones back here. You know, Darth Maul. I played Darth Maul. All the stormtroopers. Whatever He's that great. Jedi is back there. Um, and yeah, yeah. Some people have gnomes. But I have Star Wars figures scaring away the buzzards stormtroopers from, from my Stormtroopers are We captured a, a Jedi princess and uh, Darth Maul had nothing else to do <laughs> too. So That might be the best image of Darth Maul ever. Darth Maul. <laughs> can you... Can you Wait, I don't... I don't know if you go back a little bit. I am. I'm going to try to. He is more of a foul. He's more of a foul. You know, just get gnomes, but you've got yourself full on stormtrooper, <laughs> uh, Jedi warrior. Uh, we captured a, a Jedi oh, princess wait. and. Uh, that's oh, she's alive! <laughs> Look at that shot of Maul! <laughs> he looks. And I love that after that, he says, hey, Darth Maul wasn't doing anything. He's just like, yeah, hey, I'm really bored. I'm here for the check, you know? Look like, at how this looks. I'm going to put this on Twitter. Just look at Maul. Is look that, wait, is that like someone dressed <laughs> as Darth Maul? Or is that a yeah. figure? Of that's Darth someone Maul? dressed as Darth Maul. That man, that man is bored out of his mind. <laughs> it just looks so incredibly bored. I'm clicking, I'm clicking play, okay, Jerry? <laughs> as Jeff, Jeff Maul. <laughs> Maybe Paul had nothing else to do too, so so he just popped over as well. Boba Fett's over there as well. Boba Fett, yes. And then we've got some of the stormtroopers, five hundred first year, and they're going to be putting on a Barbie. The, the <laughs> troopers that also do other things as they well. They do, yes, and, and they sure only they understand do. Maori. So uh, you, if you want to talk to them, just speak in Maori. Yeah, yeah, boys, kapoi, kapoi koto. Yeah. I'm very impressed. Yes, very mate. Impressed. Jay. The worst acting I've ever seen in my life was actually Star Wars Episode Two, when that Captain Typo guy <laughs> turned up. And go, okay. Do you know how hard it is to walk around Boom. the set with one ah. eye shut? Oh no! Hold on, we made it. Ah, I don't want to get attacked by talk, Disney. Talk, 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 talk. No, we're, we're not good. watching anything. Volume is down. Volume we're is down, watching. Disney. Please don't come after us. Don't come after us. Leave us alone. We are Please let us know in the chat if Disney is All we're doing after. is making people buy your products. We're, we're only pushing more people to your products with this. I'm, uh, I'm not on. even joking. I think. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. You got to be yeah, careful. Free okay. drinks for the yeah. crew. And I said, what are you doing here? <laughs> and then you said, what are you doing here? <laughs> and then Ren Owen turned up. <laughs> what are you doing here? I, I think the impressive thing was, was the amount of Kiwis that were working on such a huge production and you know such an iconic production as 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 star wars was you know <laughs> the last time i i saw you was at indianapolis this big crazy convention <laughs> that we were both 3. at you've done a great job up there by the way let's have a look thanks steve some of that footage 
from Indianapolis. Okay, so real quick, they go to celebration and they show clips from celebration. It's just pretty incredible. But oh uh, thank God so we, we didn't get taken down. We're good. Thank God. Do you think First they'll do it back. for the celebration clips? No, no, they won't. They won't because it's shot by it's shot. It's uh, hand shot by Tim. Is it is it shot I'm by kidding. his like it by his on his like Nokia phone like. <laughs> It's 2005. You know, I was, you know, I was playing a lot of, of Snake back then, but then I decided I might as well get a little bit of a, a grainy video of these nice blokes who love me. Oh, that's funny. That's great. Well, look, we're going to watch some clips from Celebration 05. Here we go. It's incredible. I love the 20th Century Foxness. Indianapolis. Wait, did we see a young Nick Milky? Sorry. Three. Here we are at Indianapolis, the home of the Brickyard the Indy 500, and also the home of the gathering of one of the biggest Star Wars celebrations in the, the home. world. <laughs> okay, wait, real quick. I thought he said what they said, Jay, go rules. I thought they said Ray Low rules. And I'm like, that would be insane. How would they even know? <laughs> Let's see, wait. It just I sounds take like. I hat off for a second. It sounds like Raylo rules. Look at this. And this guy's in the, look, this is, this is pretty interesting. This is pretty uh, uh, ahead it. of their time. That's very ahead of the time. That guy, is, if he's is, not watching Bob Adcast, I hope he is. I hope, I hope we can get him uh, eventually, honestly. <laughs> Anyone knows this guy, tell him we're looking for him. Look, in I'm going to click best play. Way, in the best way. Ray, Ray Low rules. <laughs> Just listen to that. Ray Low rules. One, two, three. Jay Rules! Kind of sounds like Ray Low Rules. That's just me. Here we are at Indianapolis. Jackson, get on the it. The Indy 500, and also the home of the gathering of one of the biggest Star Wars celebrations in the world. Yeah! Uh, Ayla Secura. Oh, my Lord. This is incredible. Well, we're standing in line to give somebody money. Yeah, this is Celebration please, 3. Right? Yeah. In episode three, I play the clone troopers. There's there's a few of me <laughs> gonna be around. I thought he played Obi Wan Kenobi in this one. Yeah. Thank you. Is that the best looking doll you've ever seen? <laughs> I didn't say doll, did I? <laughs> that sounded so much like Taika. I didn't say doll, did I? That was pretty awesome. <laughs> God, this is wild. I just think it's crazy. Like, you know, this is a this is a bold statement, but I don't know if I would I guess right now we're we're in a really interesting uh position to say like how much I don't know, we're thankful to have Star Wars back. But could you imagine being kind of like the age we are now, Jerry, and going to the prequel celebrations? Oh, that would be Oh my goodness! Thing, I'd be so happy. I don't know what would I be happier at to see like Rick McCallum on stage again, or to see to see it, dude. You would you would absolutely lose your effing mind. I know you went to like celebration two or three, and Rick is like, "This is awesome," you know, like to you. I don't don't like like Rick McCallum. Rick McCallum comes out on stage and like flips a, a folding chair around and sits on it backwards like your dad having a rap like let's have a rap sesh you know um it's i don't know man it, this is th- th- seriously you would i think i would lose my ever loving mind now and the too. fandom looks a little bit more you know like everyone at least everyone here probably really enjoyed the prequels that are that are paying money to do this i don't know maybe it's just me but let's keep watching. I just like it kind of dawned on me. What would I like more now or then? So um, I don't know, but I love Ray. I think Ray was one of the best characters. Yeah, Ray's awesome. Time. So I yeah, can cut horribly it disagree with you. You babe. cannot like them, but yeah, yeah, you cannot like them, but she is not a bad just, character. Just, just don't, just don't wrong. come into the chat like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on. Keep it cool, guys. Keep it cool. This is an action figure. It's not a doll. It's not a doll. It can be a doll. Uh, my yeah. thoughts on Anakin Skywalker from episode three. I'm Vera Safi. Uh, Mace Windu. Imperial Officer. Oh. New York Jedi. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Whoa. Too much oh, excitement. Jedi baby. Yeah, we're trying to lead him on the path yeah, of the. Pete looks so light. different. I mean, Pete <laughs> just looks so much better now. I'm so glad he. I'm just so glad he. You. you know, had a, 
change Are of lifestyle. You are in trouble. Looks, he just looks he, better. I'm just thankful he looks good. I do not. We're going to like shut off in a second because we, yeah. Anyway, well, he's he's going to cut us off. Producer and I make Star Wars breaks and stuff. I got this record, Star Wars break beats. Look, it's the Mandalorian. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Was that the Suck Lord? What do you mean? The, have you ever watched on um, uh, 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 make- Steel Wars? Steel Wars podcast. Mm-hmm. He interviewed this guy. This guy, there's a guy from New York who makes bootleg figures. Okay, he's an artist. His name is the Suck Lord. He calls himself the Suck Lord, and he goes. I'm not to these aware of this stuff. I'm not um, aware of that's this. him. That would be incredible. But look, at, I love that he's like a silver Boba Fett, and he like he has no idea. He has no idea. He made the Mandalorian. Look at this. He created the Mandalorian. Oh. I've got a little over $2,000 wrapped up in my armor. I have a friend of mine down with the Georgia garrison who's put over 30000 into his Vader outfit. He oh, actually good for you. got a uh, cooling system that the uh, astronauts used uh, on at NASA. So for me to get in my costume, it can take up to like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. It's dedication right there. Watch out. Ready to watch you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, snap. Tim! And you know what? I want to I want to address this real quick. You got to think too. Um one of our one of my best interviews I've had was with the uh, creative Star Wars bounty hunter, John Knowles, where we talked about, you know, Book of Boba Fett and, and pretty much yeah. all of that on the BTBD page. So like totally go go check that interview out. But, you know, it's just weird to think Tamora was doing a lot of Star Wars work at this time, you know? And like Yeah. I, I imagine this is what he did for a hot minute going to conventions and doing this cuz he still does this. But how how incredible is this now that we are what? I'm sorry. This is about that dude talking about all the money he spent on his costume. Yeah, no, I don't um, understand. I'm sorry. That's I have that's a friend funny. that spent thirty thousand dollars in his Darth Vader costume. Uh, when, <laughs> you can Welcome buy one to America, Disney. people. Welcome to America. It's like, so. Fine. I wanted to say the fact that For this the love man's the game. coming back. This man that is, is that's so in love with Star Wars is coming back is just. It's actually kind of beautiful, and I'm not kidding when I say that. Yeah. It's really, it's really amazing. But um. Uh, oh, thank you, Connor. Another former student of mine um, teaching uh, his sibling this year as well. Connor said, who's hyped for the Epic yeah. Bomb Back Gaming channel, baby? I am. This is I'm the pumped. one. I'm pumped. So oh, yeah. um, let's keep this going because this is, I'm not joking when I say this, this is about 40 minutes long. And we've got a good let's bit go. of time to keep going let's through go. this. There's just so much, like, 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 like Loro said, there's so much to unpack here. <laughs> Oh, it's him doing a haka. Oh, haka. Hell yeah. That's awesome. For those that don't know... That's a traditional war dance done by um, by like old tribes in New Zealand. Maori, yeah, yeah, Ma- yeah. So I remember watching it for the first time, and like I was in high school, I thought it was kind of a joke, and I like laughed at it. But like thinking about how beautiful that is, that like most of the young men there almost as a rite of passage have to learn one of these dances, and like yeah. all of them can do it. It's actually pretty awesome. It well, and like it just and you had uh, uh, Tim doing it on the set of The Mandalorian. There's that yes. gift that goes around that video of him go like doing it. Like it's yeah. Oh my gosh, the man! I, this man is pure charisma. He is, and he, you know what? It's it's kind of a primal thing too. I love watching it because it kind of invigorates. I don't know. It gets me going when I watch it. It's kind of badass. But uh, let's keep it going. <laughs> okay, you may. <laughs> Hey, remember that, Huggle? We blew them away there. I had to go and fix my stage afterward. You made a, a huge hole in it. But the, I had to go fix was, my pants. I was down a bit too low. <laughs> everybody was amazed <laughs> and, and uh, really pleased that all the clone troopers could uh, turn up and, and all the fets could turn up as well. Yes. You know, I met a number of the fans that attended that whole convention. And they said the highlight was seeing you, I, and Bodie Taylor do the hugger. Blew them away. 
And if you don't know who Bodhi is, well, he plays my younger clone trooper. And he's coming around very shortly. Also, I'm going to be talking with Rick McCullum, the producer no! of Star Wars, and the man himself, what? Mr. George Lucas. What? To a galaxy near you soon. Oh! There's the lead, guys. There's the lead, kids. It's just so There's exciting. There's the lead. This so, is very exciting. Do you have let's to switch keep videos? Going. Let's keep yeah, it going. Yeah, so it's it's five parts. Fantastic. <laughs> Hold on. If it will load, I uh, hope, everyone, hope everyone's enjoying this so far. This is uh, yeah, that's true. Actually, Andrew, these two are the original bomb pad cast. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh god, it's brilliant. It All truly right. is. Like him. Oh man, they should they should take it back. It's fine. It's fine. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna click play. Okay, go for it. Welcome back to the Tim Show. Shortly, we're gonna be talking to the producer of Star Wars, Mr. Rick McCullum. You know, Rick. Yep. Jay, I wanted to ask you, please don't sing the national anthem anymore <laughs> you know, at these rugby games because every time you sing, the boys lose. I told you that I was singing the next bled is low, and you said that they lose. Well, it's not my fault, all right, but but I'm singing for Australia this time. I thought I'd just fix their little red wagon. I'm surprised they still letting you in the country. Oh, you know, you know why? Because they're all my cousins are at customs. Thanks, now. Connor. They don't even check my bags anymore, boogie board, any of that stuff. They just let me come in and say, Kia ora, kia ora, welcome. And I come in and, you know, I give them all the Tim Tam biscuits and I'm fine. <laughs> That's how you cut it through. Because you've been in Sydney all this time doing theatre, right? Yeah, I've, I'm 10 years now. I went over to do, um, uh, was it uh, Water Rats? That's 95. Right. And, uh, yep. and I'm doing Lion King at the moment. Oh, God. <laughs> they mute, will attack mute, us if mute. we play that. Mute, mute, mute. <laughs> it literally is courtesy of Disney. Look, there he is. Look at him. Is he He's Scar. Isn't he? No, 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 no. He's not Scar. Is Scar and Mufasa? Um, what's the young one called? What's the baby one called? Simba. Eh, I think he's Simba. Okay. Maybe he's Mufasa. What's the baby what's one what's called? He... You teach children, sir. Sorry. I mean, he is kind of a baby. Yeah. He's kind of a ninny, right. little ninny baby poo. Play it. Hayden, we will under, play it, yeah. but we will get shut I down. I can't believe that amount of people have had to listen <laughs> To that torturous voice of yours. It's just like 700 people. So the, the theater <laughs> itself seats 2,200, and we have eight shows a week. And sometimes you're just, just doing it by the numbers. That's high energy stuff, though, isn't it? How do you keep yourself up? In the, in the theater, you there's a Proof technique they call Remember to Forget. <laughs> Most likely. And so, you know, you have to do your day tough. You know, mm -hmm. all my children, I look after all my children. Six there. kids now, huh? Six. And uh, yeah. if I find Good out who him. the father is. <laughs> anyway, so the worst part of doing theater is four o'clock comes around and you just go, oh, I have to start work. Yes. Which do you prefer? You know, if you had a choice, TV, film, theater. I, you know, I love t television and film because of, of just the technicality, checking the gate, having so many people around and just working on one scene at a time. But with theater, it you know, people <laughs> tell you if you suck. People tell you right then. But you know that... Tomorrow, is, a, yeah, tomorrow is, a, is another battle. You know, I love the, the immediacy of, of, of theatre only because you can see the people's eyes. And, you know, I think that just, you know, goes back to our culture. You know, we're all an oral race, not a written language race. We sing, we dance. That's how we tell our stories. And for me, that's what I like. I like to see people's faces and go, all right, they didn't like that, but tomorrow they may like it. I was wondering how... And why George cast you as Captain Typho, you know, with that patch and line, you're well, supposed you to be know, protecting uh, the queen and you arrive there and come home. Do they ever Bro. stop busting each other's balls? God, like, brutal. I don't think they ever do. They are just like they are just roast mode. I love it. It's and it's like the New Zealand roast mode where it's like, Oh yeah, yeah, you've got one eye in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you walking in like this? Hey, 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 it's me, you know, I'm Captain Typho. I you always know? thought this, this scene looked a little weird. It just doesn't look right to me. It never has sat right with me. This looks kind of strange. Like the, okay. her looking down looks like she just like saw her cat vomit. She's like, I gotta pick that up now. And it, this is like Scotty. She's Scotty, cat. that's insensitive. <laughs> she's looking at her dead friend. Okay, <laughs> but it doesn't look she's, like that. She's looking at her dead friend. 
all right, let's see if this sh- this this scene ever ends. And R two just wandering around. Oh, and he was saying something funny the whole time. I can't even play it. Uh, security officer, because you only got one eye, mm-hmm. and they know that you know you can only attack on this side because you can't attack on this side because I can't see. Or you know, she just felt sorry for you. But George is, you know, he's <laughs> going to be doing the television. <laughs> Elder Pug Twenty Seven comment. <laughs> Drama. That's amazing. He could be. Uh, Only when she's in his right in field of vision. Let's right. hope he doesn't forget us, man. Well, you know, right. I'm TV, going over for a honey later over at uh, George's, uh, the ranch. You went, went to the ranch? Yes, talking about the ranch. When I visited this wonderful place at Marin County, just a little bit out of San Francisco, and I spoke to uh, Rick McCullum, the <gasps> producer. I, okay. By the time I, s- I heard this was going to happen, I was losing my mind, so... Yeah, I haven't watched his interview. I have not watched his interview. This you is all fresh for all of us, guys. This is. I all thought fresh. I had scraped through all of YouTube. I have watched videos that had to be translated into a right language to <laughs> see what Rick McCallum has to say. So I'm going to watch this because this is the first time you see me watch this. So everyone, shut up. Everyone, love everybody. Thank you so much, Rick, for having us. I haven't seen you since the Australian days when we, we shot the, the last one. I know. It's almost a year and a half, two years. Jesus well, calm. well, why did you choose Australia? Well, actually, you know, we actually decided we were going to go to New Zealand first. No way. Yeah, absolutely. We went to New Zealand. We had a <laughs> great time. I mean, it was beautiful two, three weeks. Uh, most fantastic recce. The problem was Peter was just starting uh, Lord of the Rings, and we couldn't find a place where we could get enough construction crew to come in we needed about four or five hundred people so it just wasn't the right time at that particular moment overall it was just it was a great decision for us though you know we had a great time in sydney and uh you know it's the most laid back not quite as laid back as new zealand but it's <laughs> such a fantastic you know way of making a so movie. true we're so uptight and such a weird culture right now you know, all we do is work, work, work because we're economic slaves. You know, we owe so much. Jesus Christ, Rick's getting real serious. This is a Rick like dropping that, man. Just dropping that we're economic slaves. <laughs> Sheesh, this is amazing. Oh my God. So, real quick, too. I agree. It's weird to hear him say Peter, a uh, Sith Lord. Uh, it's weird to hear him say Peter Jackson. Um, I, I love that. It really I is. That. I love that because you have to acknowledge those are the two biggest franchises ever. With Harry Potter at the time, you got those three I like, new franchises. I'm sorry, Steve's killing me with. I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. So much money, and we're so so much in debt. Yes. And you guys have, uh, you know, have a sense of quality of life, and you know how to balance that. We've lost that balance altogether. I mean, you just look at us; we're completely nuts. And of course, you're right in the middle of uh, just pumping up the last one, isn't it? Can't change anything. Oh, God. You just kind of let it go up. Mm. And then it has its own. We're going to talk over it, too. It's okay. We can play. play, play. It's, I think it's fine. It as long as we talk. I've been to these conventions and signed a Star Wars fans. Um, he's come back the next day and, and he's had it tattooed into his body. I know. It's Why is that, you think? Well, I mean, I'm going <laughs> to use the word demented, deranged, <laughs> damaged. <laughs> but, uh, God, I love them. Just, <laughs> just rewinding a, a lot. Pull that. And, um, you have to you pull that, George? Scotty. Oh, that? Oh, hell yeah. God, you demented. have to pull the they're demented, deranged. 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 Oh, God, I love them. Love them. <laughs> <laughs> and he's had it tattooed into his body. I know. It's Why is that, you think? Well, I mean, I'm going to use the word demented, deranged, <laughs> damaged, but uh, God, I love them. Just going away. <laughs> just rewinding a, a lot, you know. And um, how did you and George hook up? For the for the first one because you had a big European kind of history. Yeah, I've history. I've lived in London for 25 years and um, about 1989 1990 I hooked up with George. I'd met him earlier. Uh, he was doing the Indiana Jones saga and we just clicked and that's how it kind of started. We had an idea that we knew that we wanted to create this digital pipeline. The traditional kind of paradigm for filmmaking is you got to write the script and everything else. Those things have no interest to him. He, it's painful for him to write. That's you know, we, I never get the script till a day or two days before we start shooting. You know, and, <laughs> you know, it just, he wants to create the film visually. And that's the process that he loves Good the most. Lord. And where that all comes together is in the editing room. This one, you know, and it spans 10 years, is actually cheaper than the first film from episode one. And wow. it's 10 years later. 
Let them pass between us. One of the most expensive parts of making a movie is actually distributing uh, this print, this archaic print. And then once you spent two or three years on a movie, nothing is more painful than going down to your local, you know, theater and seeing it in some, you know, multiplex where it's scratched and it looks like shit after the first two days of the Whoa! Sound, you know, the <laughs> That's not network. This is, this is incredible. I love this. Is this is Rick Uncut. This Lucas is... doesn't like to write. Big shocker there. Okay. <laughs> oh, Look, Steve. Steve. I like hearing Rick be so unfiltered. This is wild. So I don't know if you're catching that. He says you put all this work into it, then you go and play it in a shitty theater. Like he pretty much just said that. I think he said, yeah, which is like that is him and George being like, step up your game, step they, up your game theaters. They are yeah, the reason that, why that, we have that, the digital theaters now. That, you're right. If it was not for George and even Steven and a bunch of other really well known, uh, uh, Robert Rodriguez, James Cameron, um, they all like made a, a organization to where you would have digital uh, filmmaking for it to be better. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Richard Grinson is called out. But um, looking at this, I mean, like they must have caught Rick on a real bad day. Yes, Rick is in the raw. Like Rick is but not on a bad laughing. day, or is he? I think, listen to how he like talks about how awesome he thinks New Zealand is because they're so laid back. I think he yeah. feels so comfortable around Tim. That yeah, he's just like, I'm gonna lay it all out for you, buddy. I'm gonna lay it all I'm out. Listen to that again. I've never heard Rick say shit before. That was incredible. One of the most expensive we'll parts in a minute, of the movie buddy. is actually distributing uh, this print, this archaic print. And then once you spent two or three years on a movie, nothing is more painful than going down to your local, you know, theater and seeing it in some, you know, multiplex where it's scratched and it looks like shit after the first two days of thing. The sound is like, mm. you know, the average theater has a sound uh, system that's less than my car has, you know, and it's just <laughs> ridiculous. So all of this kind of, all the roads converged at that moment. We said, Jesus, Holy we've got to try and make this shit. whole pipeline digital. And that started in 1994. It took us about seven years to get the camera together. And God, will never look back. Is there a Rick McCullum recipe for success? No. <laughs> is there a <laughs> I love, no that's another no. clip that is another clip no. right there scotty you know how many clips we're getting from this thing oh my chest is so tight from yelling that loud good oh my god good <laughs> lord said, no <laughs> this is so yeah painful. look at that just look at his face <laughs> eric what's up buddy no. Isn't this wild? <laughs> Look, and you know what? I was thinking this the entire time. Like, <laughs> this is Rick in the raw. That is so true. Rick, like, he is, Rick in the raw so is honest real right now. And I don't know. If I, am, this. I am so excited for the George interview now. God. Oh, he already said that he's coming. He's already said that he's coming. God. So another another funny thing, too, as well, is um I, I John Knowles, the guy that wrote Star Wars and made Star Wars Bounty Hunter that game. I will stream that game as well. But um, he said at one point he was on the set for Revenge of the Sith watching them film, and someone came in and mentioned how they hit Rick McCallum's car. And it was like Rick McCallum went out there and chewed the guy out. Because I even uh. asked, like, was Rick McCallum a nice guy? And he was like, oh, he was a, he was a terrific guy. But one day someone hit his car, and he, he went outside and chewed him out. And I'm like, right. Like someone would. But like, by the way, hi, Gilster. Glad you're here, bud. Sorry. Oh, nice. Th yeah, seriously no. we this is a spoil of riches oh my <laughs> holy said, dang man he said oh no. another clip another I clip but i mean maybe we can in just 1994 okay. it took us about seven it's years just to get the no camera sound together effects together there's no sound effects disney back. i don't know what you're talking is about is there a rick mccullum recipe for success no <laughs> purely luck you know it's one of those wacky things i wish i could bring some kind of meaning to my life but it just doesn't work that way well, thank you very much, Rick. No, I really no. appreciate that. I've learned a lot from this wonderful chat we've had. Yeah, and uh, look forward to uh, doing some more work in the future. Fantastic. Maybe. Fantastic. The end of the fantastic. You, you, Great you have to cut it at no. He also told me this funny story no. about when he, uh, in one of his productions, his earlier productions, that didn't do that well, right? So he's driving in normally as he does into his parking space. 
And there's a guy it? rubbing out his name. It was time for him to get down the road. I think we've, we've all come across that where we've walked in and the star's been peeled off your dressing room and, uh, and they've asked we've you to go back that. down to the chorus. But uh, I've, I've had always uh, had a lot of time for Ricky as a, as a, a genuine uh, uh, nice guy. He, mm. he takes time to speak to crew members as well as cast members and, and he made you feel like part of the crew. Mm. It was very cool too. They actually looked at New Zealand as a viable option, you know? Yeah, but we had rings here. That's right. Not and enough people. Yeah, not enough people, not <laughs> enough facilities. I anyway, love that there's the break, like we're going to be talking to Bodie Taylor. He's my clone trooper in Star Wars. I also catch up with some Bloody of the Fano, a Rena Owen. Look at the bloody lot of them! And I talk to the man himself, Mr. George Lucas. So no. we got more. We got more. Should we should we watch the rest or should we skip straight to the George? Uh we should we can skip straight to the George. The other stuff. Oh god, no, this looks good. Guys, there's <laughs> there, there will be listen, we have mountains of content with this. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. Um listen, oh by the way, Michael, all remaining systems, man. Thanks for stopping by. Catch the Thank replay, you. buddy. Seriously, you're gonna want to see. You're gonna want to see the rest of this. Let's uh let's just find the George Lucas interview and see how that goes. Let's find okay. the Lucas just since we're going so long right now, and then uh uh go straight. Oh here, okay. What what's the chat say? Look, we got Lauren saying go straight to George. What the hell's happening? What is this? This is not the same. I thing. don't hold on. I don't know it what you. I don't know. Different, went to a different oh. movie altogether. Hold on. Oh, we'll find it. We'll find it. It's okay. Listen, guys, we're gonna skip straight to the George interview probably here, and um, there is something to this though. Is there some weird charm to all of this? And I'm glad it is. Oh, we can watch the rest of it sometime too. Like, seriously, it's just this is oh, yeah. absolutely incredible. We do, and we can even tease this. We do plan on launching a Patreon at some point, not anytime soon. Uh, no, yeah, but, uh, it's down the line, it's down the line. So, if, if this could be a Patreon exclusive, we watch this whole damn thing together. Yep, okay, yep. wait, go, ti go, Tigers, Boopenheim, go, Tigers. And I will say. You're going to have to give me a moment because I don't know where the hell this George interview is even at. So let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, look. So incredible. Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait. OK, wait. Who, who else is showing up now? That's the guy that played young Bulba in that single shot. He played. I'm sorry. He played young uh, Django in that. Is this, right. Is this like George? younger. Like I didn't. Oh, oh my goodness. Here we go. I have not seen anything. Oh, snap. Well, listen, to George Lucas, that guy makes me nervous. He's got There's big, one. I'll rewrite your story. Not care energy. <laughs> there is a this. There is one thing uh, at the end of this that I have to show you. It's the bar. It's the Barbie they have because they do have a Barbie. Oh, they it's do, pretty they have incredible. A Oh, like a barbecue or like an actual yeah. Barbie doll? No, a barbecue. Jerry, okay, sorry. I'm God. sorry. I, I forgot we're in Kiwi mode tonight. Here we go. Let's click play. The man himself, Mr. George Lucas. I've never seen this. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Oh, no, God! Uh, ba, 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 ba. No, it's not anything. Don't shut us down. Can you guys still see us? 60 minutes with Barbara Walters, a detour. What well, is, Star Wars mean? was a detour. It started out as one movie and it's ended up being 30 years of work. Star Wars detours? So, you know, in that way, I'm glad to be finished because it's, you know, as feature films, it's, it's you know, it's three years to do each one of them. And it's a lot of commitment, a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of money. Wait, so okay. Now I'm going to blow everyone's television. mind. Holy shit. If you look in the background, there is a record. Literally, it's a record to George's left shoulder. That is the Labyrinth record. And I love the idea that George has watched the voodoo dance song and has sung. Have you remind me of the babe? What babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. You do. Voodoo. Do what? Remind me of the babe. Ah! The fact that George <laughs> has sat there and listened to that record. I, I am... I am like on cloud nine right now. George listens to You know, it could be, it could be one of his kids, too. It could be one of his I kids. don't give a... I'm just, at, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, Alex. Welcome. As welcome, my friend. Falls down. Oh, this makes my day. All right. Sorry. I just did not expect to see the Labyrinth That's, album cover. I mean, it's pretty album. incredible seeing any amount of George Lucas's personality besides Star Wars. It truly You're right. is. And he's a fan of David Bowie. Here we go. And we're going to do some animated shows and we might do a live action show, but it'll be television, not feature films. So it'll be much quicker, much faster. And because I was telling one story over six films, 
So, you know, it's a, it's a long time to tell one story. Poor George is still tired. Sorry, copyright. We have we have PTSD from your art experience with you. We just can't. No, 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 no. We're Bernard saying that, know. but like <laughs> Nick, copyright. Nick we are, are we are double. we are the bad boys of YouTube. We really are. All right. Oh. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ben it's Kenobi. Fun. Why isn't it not loading? Oh no, what the hell? Come on. What happened? Please, please, Disney. Not today. No, don't you dare. Why is it frozen though? Give me a second. Let me fix this. We're at five minutes. Something went wrong. Yeah, he was thinking TV. How wild is that? Thank God we have Disney Plus. Hey, yo, we're waking up tomorrow morning and watching The Bad Batch. How sick is that? It is insanity. Five minutes. So hopefully that clips over. Here we go. So, you know, it's a, it's a long time to tell one story. I regret that. Abba! Ra, just mute. Ra! Your attack. <laughs> we all know what she says. We all know what you say, Leia Organa. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Cough. Look over here. I don't know why I've gotten to uh, yeah, that, but this, this whole why gotta... in the whole damn scene. Why are you? We know we've seen Star Wars, Tim. We've seen yeah, it. Passion for being a racing driver back in the early days. Well, when I was in high school, I loved racing cars, and I wanted to be a mechanic and build cars. And um, then I was in a, a pretty horrific car accident, and oh. uh, a, a long uh, uh, meditation in a hospital sort of changed my mind about all that. And, and I went back to school and I discovered film and life sends you on different paths. And you sort of, when you get an opportunity, you have to take it and explore it. And, you know, um, and it leads you in very funny places, places you never expect to be. Going way back to the days of American graffiti. And that started out as a very, very low budget movie. You know, it was made for less than a million dollars um, on a very short schedule. Um, Did Tim even ask a question? It was- I just did not understand that. Going back to man, and then just George just starts talking immediately. Oh man, yeah, George, lots of morphine. Oh, that's great. Yeah, no, George, George, the pod racer man. He knows what he's doing. He, he's uh, he he does sound absolutely drained right now, though. Like he's you can feel him, him and Rick. Th- this is like a circa two thousand five. After like- all of the Jar Jar hate, we even had a guy saying "Stop the hate." Yeah, like. This is a little sad, but also incredible. Holy crap. He's just tired. And it was crazy, but then, <laughs> you know, it turned into be an extremely successful. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's, That's good. It, Do you know it at the time? No. Now, you have no idea when you're making a movie whether it's going to be successful or not. You gauge a movie by what you like. So I think this works. I like this. Therefore, I'm going to put it in the movie. And you just hope that somebody else does. And there's a lot of pressure, a lot of decisions to be made. And like even with the early Star Wars, it was a difficult film to make, wasn't it? Well, I was very fortunate. I found somebody, a studio executive, uh, Alan Ladd Jr., who believed in me. He didn't understand the script very much, but he did say, <laughs> you're a talented guy, and I think you can make this movie. <laughs> I did. I got oh, it. Oh, look. Look. They're jumping. I know. You fill in the space. There you go. Look at him jump across. Oh, we're going to shoot at you. <laughs> I was a long oh. way from Hollywood when I did it. So they really couldn't, you know, come and see what I was doing. Mm. And that helped. And then when I finished it, I came up here to San Francisco. And that's <laughs> a long way from where they are, too. So basically, I managed to keep them out of my hair most of the time. <laughs> that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible that we're hearing him talk about studio executives. I mean, we I know, we know he feels that way. But yeah. like this, it's just so cool. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we fe- you, that this you found this, guys. This is amazing. Why? Why do they put this whole scene in? <laughs> They're putting so the many scenes in the third one. It's not that much different than the other ones, uh, but it's got some rather intense images of Anakin being on fire, and a few more people get their arms and legs cut off than normal. Yes. But we always do a lot of that. But oh. <laughs> Whoa! Is, oh, you know, it's about Whoa. how a good person Whoa. turns into a bad person. It's about how a democracy yep. turns into a dictatorship. Oh my and goodness! And we get to episode four. You're you're great in this one because you multiply. You're everywhere. The clones have taken over. 
Boba Fett. What was that cool. laugh? George can laugh? Oh, by the way. <laughs> you're you're great in this one because you multiply. Listen to this laugh. You're everywhere. The clones have taken over. <laughs> <laughs> Boba Fett rules the world. Very good, sir. Oh, by the way, I think you'll be needing this. There's a lot of expectation with the last one, so... Um, yeah. Does that make you nervous? Well, you I, I've, that? I've sort of given up on that part of it because the expectations get so high that it's you know you, it's very difficult to meet them. And my job is really not to meet everybody's expectations. My job is to do the best job I can making the movie and make it be as true to itself that it can be. Um, so you know, some people are always disappointed. Mm. Some people love them. Some people hate them. Mm. You know, there's always this mix of reactions to the movies, and it's always been that way ever since the very beginning. And in terms of the future, where do you think we're going? Well, it's, when you're doing science fiction <laughs> films, um, you need to push the medium forward in order to be able to do fantastic things like fly around in space or have aliens that talk. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yes. The medium forward for that, and then sort of moved into the fact that the whole process was done in one medium, digital, rather than half film, half digital. Oh, oh my goodness. There is so much. Tim was like, let's put all of it in. Put all the Star Wars stuff in. Uh, put all the, the, the music, medium, everything. Cinema. Everything. Oh, my goodness. The, the, this is like just jam-packed with the Star Wars and theme, isn't it? At the same time, cuts down your expenses. And since I have to finance my own movies, I'm very cost conscious because I don't have a lot of money to throw around <laughs> like the studios do. Well, thank you very much, George, okay. for, well, especially you. for your time. And um, thank you also for well, cloning me. There's only been me and a sheep called Dolly, I think. <laughs> Death face. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that last bit. I have to finance my own movies. I'm very cost conscious because I don't have a lot of money <laughs> to throw around like Dolly, the studios do. Well, thank you very much, George, okay. for, well, especially you. for your time. And um, Thank you also for well, cloning me. There's only been me and a sheep called Dolly, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Look, oh, we are we're gonna living. we're gonna kind of stop right after this. I want to find that one shot of them having a Bobby. But uh, Holo Chronicle boys, for for y'all that are just joining, we found an ancient interview uh, or an ancient show. Called the Tim Show, as you can see we, right here. We found we found a very tired George and Rick McCallum. Um, <laughs> very they sad. are Scotty. The way he talks about it, some people hate it, you know. Like this is like people bitter George. It. This is the beginning of bitter George. God, oh, poor, is, poor George. This is like before Kingdom and the Crystal Skull came out. George, he's like at this next level of bitter. Oh, can you poor? Leave the poor man, leave the poor uh, millionaire alone. You know, billionaire, whatever oh, he is. Oh, gosh, this is great. Let's see. You, know, you want to fall on the side? Oh, me. here we go. <laughs> Just watch who brings up the drink. Welcome back. The show's oh, not wait. over yet. There's still plenty more. And Bodhi, I know they got you because of your good looks, right? <laughs> you know, and they needed someone <laughs> to kind of uh, look like me. But that's right. the more I look at you tonight, uh, yeah, the, the, the less you look like me. Right. Okay, that's not that's not this clip. There's a clip where, oh, where too soon, well, Steve. Too soon. It's too soon, bud. I just say we get it. We know. We Jeez. know where they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was that. <laughs> I literally just watched the beginning of the of that last episode of Mandalorian season two. Yo, no, welcome to the like, Tim Show. I'm Tim Warner Morrison. Oh, Jesus, sorry, now, sorry. You know what? I invite a couple of buddies over to have a bit of a court at all. We have a bit of a sing song. <laughs> What the hell is he even saying? That whole, this whole thing needs to be a clip as well. We have a little bit of a sing song. <laughs> <laughs> See, wait. Kia ora, welcome to oh the show. I'm Tim Warner Morrison. Now, each week I invite a couple of buddies over there. There's that. a clip in here where Darth Maul brings them like drinks. <laughs> it makes me laugh every you time. You have got to be loading. kidding me. You have got to go. be joking. Oh, wait, I think this is it if it works. Let's see if it's the theme. Please work. Is it? Is it? Yes. Watch. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh my bugger. goodness. <laughs> okay. Didn't like where Mr. Mole. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, welcome back. Hey, Bodhi. Thank you, I Mr. Know Mole. You're a gun at the Maori martial arts. You swing a mean tayaha around and patu. I want to see what you can do with a, a lightsaber. Yeah, oh my, oh my. I'll grab that. Get out of your way. Okay, let's step back a bit. Oh, I love these guys. I want to hang out with you guys. <laughs> Don't fall into the pool. 
we gonna get for the lightsaber sound effects? <laughs> That's pretty good, my pretty impressive stuff. <laughs> Yes, now God, I want to be. I want to go to New Zealand so bad I, now. I want to just go visit all three of them. Can we all just hang out, please, please? Well, oh, wait. I, I was gonna say, hey, I found that Darth Maul clip. <laughs> oh, y'all! Uh, hour and fifteen minutes later, Bombad is officially back. We had an absolute blast with y'all, and and you know let's let's give this a good round of clips for the for the people. Yeah, we will do a bomb ad field trip. Jerry, I showed you this the other night, but I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Couples retreat is a classic. It's yeah. There you go. Sure, sure. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, I have a brief story to tell everyone here. Um, at one point, I used to perform as Elvis for retirement communities, and I want to show a clip from this here. This is no joke. Yes. This is not even, this, I'm not this, kidding. This isn't a bit. This isn't a bit. This, this is 100% a video of me singing Burn in Love by Elvis and making a bunch of older women clap for me. Get, get ready for the copyright strike. <laughs> there is more where that That's came incredible. from. Down that the is line. incredible. That is incredible. So that is that is 100% real. And you know what? We have someone that has an exclusive interview with Harrison Ford. What? Oh! Harrison Ford! Also, here I am with Harrison Ford. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. Oh, Sorry, God, I'm, Steve. I'm so glad that people come and join this and, and, and hang out with us. And, um, you know, we have to give one more ad, um, you know, spot to our our final sponsor, which is a, a flight company called TWA. Um, yeah, here we yeah. go. Check them out. Oh, I, I love. I love that they hand the old, the the the, the elderly woman, a full on <laughs> ceramic cup of coffee, on an airplane. Did that used to happen? Did that used to happen? <laughs> was that the forties? That was just the eighties, right? Oh God, that was that was late eighties. Yeah, leading the way. TWA. And welcome to the Bombad Cast, buddy. So, welcome that's to what, the Bombad Cast. That's what we're flying on to go to New Zealand when we go, Jerry. We're flying. We're, we're gonna flying fly. To yeah. TWA. So Bombad, like like Boop said, uh, uh, <laughs> Bombad field trip. We are going on to one hundred percent, and we are all going to have coffee and ceramic mugs, <laughs> or we riot. <laughs> Disposable oh, ceramic, disposable ceramic. Jerry, real quick, I want to plug disposable. your show. Jerry, your show drops literally next Monday. You ready for that, man? <sighs> uh, yeah, sure, sure. Let's just say, yeah, we're ready. We will be ready. If you, come hell or high water, guys, um, we will have a hyper focus episode Monday, eight p.m. Explain come and hang us. out again. Hyper focus, guys. Come in. We will. I will have a guest on every Monday. We are going to talk about anything from Star Wars to whatever the guest wants to talk about. And there might be a chance for you to oh, yeah. call in. I'm going to possibly put I might put the uh, uh, link in the chat. And you can come in and 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 talk with me and the guests. You know, and I'm hoping, Jerry, I'm hoping it gets a little Howard Sterny and it gets a little mean sometimes. Maybe it'll get like kind of a maybe it'll get kind of, you know, two different points of view. And you have to you have to mediate that. I would I would really enjoy that. Especially if you talk political stuff. You might got you might have people in the chat that don't agree with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You would, you would, you no, no, no. What I'm saying you. is it would be fun to have these kind of arguments, which you know, bomb back cast we sometimes avoid. But uh, Jerry, I'm okay, but I'm, really okay, but I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not going to be Howard Stern in that. I'm not going to go full nude. No, uh, on it ever. So, but so everyone, check out Hyper Focus. I am beyond excited to see this show uh, be born before your eyes. It's going to be very exciting. Yeah, we, uh, Hollow Chronicles. You don't even know we we played like a a, a cigarette ad from the 80s. We did play an old show. cigarette ad. Um, and Jerry, do you mind if I plug my show? Yeah, we're sturdy. Uh, not at all. Plug away, so, my man. 
I have some people very excited in the chat. And look, I'm serious. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, anything in particular, and you want to get the exclusive, like, help Scotty out stream, I plan on doing one maybe Sunday, maybe even maybe even tomorrow. I don't know what I got planned for tomorrow. I know I'm going to be on uh, Arzu's show on the Geeky Waffle Network. But um, yes, yeah. So out. I've got something called Bombad Gaming every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. You've got Bombad Gaming with me, and we will be covering everything from retro games to um, modern day games. I'm very, very excited for this. It should be an absolute blast, honestly. Um, I will be obviously my guest will be the game, and we'll hang out and show, and I will show you this as well. So we will be playing this game. First game we're playing is Super Bombad Racing for the PS2. How beautiful is that? Oh, Alex, Corey, I'll answer that. No, these shows will only be on this YouTube channel. We have decided to part ways with our former uh, collaborators. In the best sure way. Ex- in the best way to expand We're our content. Friends. So, yeah, Bombad Gaming. That will be coming to you every Wednesday. Very excited for that. Um, Jerry. Yes, don't, I let Scotty, premiere- don't let Scotty shill as Elvis anymore. No, I won't. But I want to premiere an image to make the chat laugh because we always like ending on a good laugh. Jerry, uh, we made Jerry pose exactly like the maker. And uh, I think everyone's going to enjoy this one. I've been keeping this away. I think you'll enjoy it. Here we go. This is Jerry as George Lucas. It's uncanny, honestly. (laughs) It's supposed to. (laughs) It's Eric. So close. It's absolutely scary. I Eric. can't believe we got the the I can't believe we got that pose so right. Oh my god, what the hell? Come into frame right now. I, I did not expect this. Look at oh, Trump. guys. Oh, truly. It is Eric. Is, it is Eric Cotterman himself, you guys. You, Jerry? Get it down here, E. I know this he can't, is, but I'm introducing him to the face. folks, guys. <laughs> wow. Wow. How yeah, we ruffled his feathers and made him look like George. Yeah, look. Look, look, at this, he, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's a father figure right there. Right there. Yes, indeed. So there's uh, George. If you want to sit in the back and just, you know, hang out. We're about to end, this buddy. Work. We're about oh, to yeah. end. Yeah, we're about to end this sesh. But uh, but guys, welcome to the new era of bomb that Eric is sit in the back and just hang out. Guys. We'll play some, wait, you know what? I'm gonna this, make this is it. This is really it. And uh, I promised Eric this. Uh, and I'm going to say it out loud on the stream, but we plan. No, no. What are you doing? What is happening? Okay. Uh, I, okay. I promised Eric that we will play a choice to come into. <laughs> the whole gonna crew is going to be there Sonic momentarily. Right? The game? We're going to play some Sonic Adventure together on the stream as well. With all that being said, Jerry, um, I think, I think I'm going to let you do the honor. So remember Mondays, hyper focus Tuesdays, I'm Wednesday. Mondays. I'm Bombad Gaming, and of course, your lovely always Thursdays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, the Bombad Cash. Jerry, you know what to do. Jerry, what should the wonderful, wonderful Bombad people do? Well, Scotty, they should. Anyways, my broskies, I got to bounce. Bounce on your boy's dick. Hey, got him. Sorry, that was, he cut in. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, Guys. Don't do what he just said. That's inappropriate. We love you. Thanks for showing up to the beginning, just the beginning of the rest of our lives, guys. Thank you, Hayden. Thank you again. Guys, stay bombad. Stay Stay bombad. Peace.